John, what we talked about last class period was we said, you know, we can solve equations when we have exponents by, by applying the equality property, which stated if I had base b raised to the x equals base b raised to the y, then we knew that x had to equal y. Right? You guys remember going over that? Where b had to be greater than 1 and b cannot equal 0. So we knew that this was true. Now, that only worked, though, when we had exactly the same basis. So we go to this problem. Can I say that negative x plus 5 is equal to 6x minus 10? No, because they don't have the same basis, right? So what we want to do is see, all right, can we rewrite then 9 and 27 with the same base raised to an exponent? Well, how could we rewrite 9? Could we write it as, how could we rewrite 9 with the base and an exponent? We could rewrite it as? We could rewrite this as 3 to the second power. Could rewrite, so if I'm saying then, if I'm going to rewrite 9 as base 3, could I write 27 as base 3? Yep. 3 to the third. 3 to the third, very good. Now, we need to make sure now we have a power of a power rule, which says a to the m raised to another exponent n equals a to the m times n, right? So now I need to multiply 2 times negative x plus 5 and 3 times 6x minus 10. So I could say base 3 of 2 times negative x plus 5 equals 3 to the 3 times 6x minus 10. So you guys see how you're multiplying those? But remember now, since I have the same bases, I now know that I don't need to include my base. I can say the exponents are equal to each other. So now let's apply distributive property and let's multiply this out. Negative 2x plus 10 equals 18x minus 30. Yes? Right, I applied distributive property. Now let's just solve. So I'll add 2x. So therefore I get 10 equals 20x minus 30. Add 30. 40 equals 20x. Divide by 20, x equals 2. Cool? Amazing, right? Anybody have any questions on that? That's it. So the main important thing when doing a problem like this, guys, is to make sure that you get the bases to be exactly the same. OK? Scoop, poop. Nice. Glad I have some nice students in my class. All right, and I'm going to do just one more problem because then the other two I already did videos on, so I will uh, always kind of do them differently. So the other one. Somebody asked me to do was uh, number one, right? Right into exponential form. So log base three of 243 equals five. Okay. So guys, we're gonna try to make sense of logarithms a little bit more in today's class. Um,